I have right here a brand new turntable. It's called Savage the One by a company called Stack Stone. There isn't much out there yet about these guys. And full disclosure, I did receive this product by the company for this video, but I did not receive any other compensation and my thoughts and opinions are my own. I'll start with a brief unboxing before diving into some specs on the turntable. Then I'll follow up with my initial thoughts after giving a few records a spin. I'll talk about what I'd like to see and I'll wrap up with why I decided on an all-in-one player. All right, for those of you new to vinyl, with a standard turntable, there are a few things you need. There's the turntable itself. You'll need an amplifier if it doesn't come with a built-in preamp and you'll need speakers, not to mention all the wires and cords to connect everything. Now, if you're a minimalist and a neat freak like myself, this can look like a jumbled mess if you don't have a nice tidy system to keep it all organized. You don't get that problem with an all-in-one player. Instead, your problem is more often than not quality. So let's dig into Stack Stone and the Savage Audio Savage The One. To me, this looks way better than a lot of the other all-in-one players. It appears to be made of actual wood. It has a sturdiness and a girth and weight to it that makes it feel higher quality. The knobs are metal. And it has a TI amplifier and an Audio-Technica needle and other components that just aren't generic no-name parts. As far as I can tell, there's minimal plastic here as well. So let's dig into what this whole thing includes. First things first, for a higher quality turntable, I'd love to see some alternate finishes. The wood on this is mostly appears to be walnut, but it's kind of a light walnut. I'd like to see something a little bit darker as well in terms of an option and maybe something lighter too, like this kind of pine looking thing down here, which is the now playing display. The company was adamant about this turntable having superior sound quality. They really wanted me to mention that. And most all-in-one players don't really have the greatest reputation when it comes to speakers. Despite the fact that pretty small speakers can carry a pretty big punch these days. The box said this turntable includes two plus two plus two. What does that even mean? Well, it means that it has two mid-range speakers, two tweeter speakers, and two pro bass auxiliary units. This does give it a leg up on most other all-in-one players. In fact, possibly all other ones. I'll admit, I don't really go shopping and exploring all-in-one players, so I can't fully speak to that. What I can say is that I have given a few 7-inch singles a spin, and can attest to it sounding pretty dang decent. Given the all-in-one nature, I don't really see a way to make adjustments to the speakers. I don't see a way to increase or decrease the treble or bass for a more dynamic playback, but I wouldn't really expect that from an all-in-one. As we move up, you see this gap between the speakers in the hefty bass and the turntable itself. Well, what's that all about? They call it Pro Shock Absorption, and this turntable has sound dampening features like the built in electromagnetic shielding module and the dual layer vibration isolation system. And that's a huge benefit. That gap you see right here, that's the isolation system. And what that means is it minimizes the impact of sound vibrations the speakers may create on the top end while the record spins. In fact, the vibration isolation system is one of the key reasons I agreed to give this turntable a go. To give you guys an idea of what that really means, think of Jurassic Park, that glass of water and that thump, and it has that vibration. That's what they're talking about. It dampens those things that keep it from potentially affecting the needle play on the record itself. That's huge because that play can over time wear out your needle and wear out your vinyl. This dual layer construction, this isn't something I see in all-in-one players often, if at all. But in my opinion, that reduction of acoustic vibration, huge plus, especially if you're gonna be cranking those speakers 
to 11. So this is a belt drive turntable, meaning that you've got a belt right here that turns the platter. One thing to note is that these belts can wear out over time. As of now, I'm not really seeing replacement parts for stacked stone, but I also might not be looking hard enough. I'd love to see replacement parts in the future, or at least parts that are a little bit easier to find. The platter too, this thing is heavy, it's metal, which is a big bonus. I see a lot of all-in-one players, and they're just on plastic overload when it comes to parts. So, once again, Savage the One has a leg up on quality. It also comes with a stack stone, Savage Audio slip mat, and you definitely want one of those. Let's take a look at the tone arm now. Now this is an adjustable 9.45 inch tone arm, and it comes with a ceramic adjustment tool and this nice thick counterweight. This thing is also metal and it has a bit of weight to it, which you'd expect from a counterweight. It's solid, and one thing that I don't really see on too many tone arms, which I think is a big bonus here, is you have the guide. You have the, the weight right there printed on it so you can, can see exactly where it should go. I also like that it comes with this cue lever. To me, this is essential in a turntable. The cue operates smoothly, and again, it's metal, not plastic. I have noticed some light play and bounce to it, but that's this guy right here, this guide for the cue. And as long as you're not pushing down on this end of the tone arm, you should be fine. This comes with a nice needle cover, which is a bonus, but it's an Audio-Technica needle, so you'll be able to find replacements easily. And this is a stereo cartridge, so for those of you who want a slightly more dynamic playback, well, there you have it. Up here we have a few different knobs. One is the speed knob. Now this has two speeds, 33, which is the standard RPM for most LPs, and 45, which is the standard for most seven inch singles and 12 inch singles. It does come with a 33 to 45 RPM adapter. And so far, these are the only two plastic pieces I've seen. This and the needle cover. This knob right here is LP and BT. LP means that it's the vinyl turntable speakers, and Bluetooth is the BT. So you can technically patch this guy, I could pair it with my Google TV and whatever system I have on that, and voila. Now I'm playing my records through my TV, and there you have it. Don't hold me to that, I haven't tested it, but still kind of cool, theoretically. Finally, I'd like to talk about the cover. For one like myself who has cats, one you saw at the beginning of this video, being able to cover my records as they play not only keeps the dust away, but it also keeps curious kitties from becoming or trying to become the latest hit DJ. Given the sides are open, there's still the ability for dust to settle underneath, but this does fit right over the platter itself, so it keeps dust off of that. Now let's get into why I got an all-in-one turntable. When Stackstone Audio and Savage Audio came to me and said, hey, we would like you to unbox this record and film it and yada yada, I was thinking, you know, I would love to listen to my records downstairs, which is where I am right now, not in my normal environment. I'm in the kitchen. I can plug this in right here and uh, listen to records. I can take this over into my bedroom, plug it in, and listen to records. In fact, my bedroom is where my seven inch singles are. I'd love to have a player to listen to records downstairs. Having it be somewhat portable as well is a plus. And the final part is my giant primary bedroom closet is just massive. I'd like to turn that into a kind of a second, secondary seven inch single and memorabilia room. I only use about this much space for clothes and so why not create that additional space for the records? And for that space, I need a new turntable. And I want something minimal that doesn't take up much space, doesn't have a lot of equipment, and this player seems to be the right choice. What I've heard from it so far, the speakers sound pretty dang good. Superior quality to what? Other 
standalone, uh, all-in-one turntables? Absolutely, 100%. So who is this for? Someone who's just getting started out in vinyl. They wanna test it out. They don't really want to spend a ton of money on a lot of different pieces of equipment. Perfect. Someone who's not necessarily technologically advanced when it comes to setting up chords and speaker systems. Yeah, I can see that. Someone who is a bit of a minimalist, doesn't want to have much stuff, keep it all nice and tidy, or even put it away when you're not using it. Absolutely. And maybe somebody who wants to be able to move it from place to place throughout the house and listen to it here and there. Sure thing. This is the Savage The One turntable from Savage Audio. I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm excited to continue listening. I'm excited to set up my new record and memorabilia room, room number two in my new house. I'll circle back once that gets set up. Next, check out another little promotional thing that I did with the company called Meza Audio. They sent me these really cool headphones that honestly, I have been absolutely loving. They are my go-to when I hop on a Zoom or when I'm out taking a walk. You can check that one out right there. As one person said many moons ago, this dude is a damn nerd. I am Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel. That little kitty that you saw, that's Waffles. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.